eyes. So this is just a quick breakdown on truth, basically. It's to address the myths that people have and the truth. The main thing is religion, okay. A lot of that is beliefs because you can't prove things, for example, beyond the universe, beyond birth and death, below the atom, all of that. So it's really a difference of beliefs, which I respect. But here's the difference. What is factual and not factual? Okay, Hinduism is the first religion, and most of it is scientifically proven. From the atom to the cosmos, they explain such great detail. That's the main difference. People just don't know about it. They don't know about the explanation of the atom to the cosmos, to health, to all this stuff. Um, they don't know about, um, for example, they said time was relative. Einstein studied that. It comes with theory, theory of relativity later on. So, that, that should end the thing right there. But there's a couple other things. This so-called caste system. Uh, the actual scripture says very clearly, birth is not determine your life's worth. There are a lot of things, your astrological signs, your, your personality, your strengths, your weaknesses, all of that is a big key, right? What the Hinduism talks about is the division of labor. Why? Efficiency. It's efficient for each person to focus on what they're good at for themselves and the good of society. And you can have, there's business class can compete for wealth as long as it doesn't hurt themselves or other people in the environment. And they can compete for wealth, but everyone has minimal needs. Unless you're soulless person you gotta consider that at least to share that much it's called altru altruism in science as long as god is the center and i like marx said the state is the center and i like money is the center in capitalism no that's the ideal system people just don't do it because they don't care and as for this worshiping of cows no no no, no. first of all all life has feelings this is not just my belief this is a scientific fact so that's the first reason people respect life okay it is more healthy and economical to, for example, work with a cow for dairy products rather than kill it for the flesh. That's a proven fact too. And the reason people revere cows more than other life forms is because it gives dairy just like mother and it's the backbone of their economy and of course health like I said, so why wouldn't they respect a cow, you know? Dogs is man's best friend because of his personality, well cow gives even more. They don't worship cows, some might choose to. There's a difference between some choose to and the logic behind it. Alright? All life does have a soul. Otherwise, what happens after death? If you have the elements necessary, can you reanimate life in a lab? No. That's proof. They all have they all have the same characteristics. You know, desire, fear, and all of that. So that's that's the cow, that's the caste system. And all this worship, uh, worshiping millions of gods, uh, that's wrong too. Hindus believe in the same one god that the God of Abraham and other really Abrahamic religions believe in. As for these millions of gods, they're called devas, heavenly beings. And you know, the universe is a big place. There's more solar systems than there are grains of sand on Earth. So, I mean, scientists agree there's likely 10,000 civilizations out there. Do you not think that there's going to be higher beings that are closer to God, okay? There's one supreme personality of God. There's an impersonal form, which is like everything, nothing. Okay, that's beyond us. That's why people... That's why they don't teach Christians, they teach Christians there's only one God, technically that's true. They don't want to get into the whole Brahmin thing because people like on YouTube will distort that in, in the world, they distort it. But in fact, there's one God, he has many different forms, some are like in the Bible, angel of mercy, angel of death, that's what they really mean, Dave does, they call them celestial beings. There is a supreme form of God, the creator, the controller, the destroyer. Some of the tales might sound very strange and unreal to some people, but, I mean, here's one example. In the Ramayan, there was a story about how Ram, the incarnation of God, fought the, a demon called Robin, which is really a rebellious human. In one of the instances, to get to his land in Sri Lanka, he had to build a sea bridge with primitive men, you know? They weren't totally human. It would, would evolu evolution would call them... Um, primitive man but uh, how can this be right well not too long ago NASA found who knows very little to none about <laughs> Hindu religion in India found what they call uh, some sort of mysterious sea bridge at the bottom of a river between India and Sri Lanka and they dated it back to what evolution deems primitive man and you can look this up yourself. So even though you don't believe it because things sound weird because it's from so long ago from a different part of the world, that doesn't mean it's not true. I mean, God can only prove so many things. And this is one example of that. So there's none of this impersonal only 
or many gods only. Okay, there's different aspects you have to understand. That's why, like in the Gita, Krishna said, I create these different different religions to do to the different modes of people are under goodness, passion, and ignorance. So, I mean, you can believe whatever you want. You have free will. But don't distort the actual religion unless you're ignorant and don't ignore the science behind it. That's illogical, alright? Um, there's a lot of more things that I'm probably leaving out that people are asking, you know. Um, for example, karma and reincarnation. Well, punch the wall, you will have a reaction no matter what you do. Maybe you can, some people believe they can repent while uh, doing negative things and that, that's true to a certain extent. Some people, in Hinduism it's called repentance, just like in Western religions. So, it depends on how you look at it. People distort it so much saying, oh, what is this karma? It's called action-reaction. Reincarnation. Everything's a cycle. Okay, and there is a goal to escape it and go to the eternal world. Uh, God's kingdom was what they call it in the Bible. It is not an impersonal form. That's if you're Buddhist. That's a choice. You can have eternal knowledge and peace. But if you want the bliss, which Hinduism allows, you must worship the highest personality of God. Okay? Christians call it Christ, Hindus call it Krishna. Names are different. You know, Allah is the Arabic word for um, God. It's not really a different God. It's the God of Abraham. I'm not defending Islam. Um, I'm just saying, for example, names, these are relative truth. Relative, Einstein proved truth is time is relative. But there's absolute truth. That's how you know what a bona fide religion is. Not only is thou shalt not kill in both the Eastern and Western religions, as opposed to do not murder the human being, which seems to be the only aspect of that commandment that is followed for the most westerners also the the story of noah's ark is kind of in hinduism i mean there's, there's so many things that i don't know why people ignore you know or don't know maybe it's propaganda and the first religion people call muslims label as hindu which is the people outside the indus river which is what their label came from is actually sanatan dharma means eternal duty this is religion and science this is truth from the beginning to the end and beyond so all I'm saying is, think about it before you buy into these propaganda that attack truth. Okay, Hinduism is the first religion that preaches peace and tolerance. They say only go to war when there is no other option to stop the injustice and untruth. That's what Krishna says, that's what Gandhi says. But, what about the other religions? Maybe, maybe it's the people. And, if you don't believe what I'm saying, the science in the quotes, which are not only in Hinduism but Bible, Go to myspace.com slash human awakening and I'll assure you you'll see it. And there's more logic in there too. Uh, I cannot address everything right now, but yeah, thank you for your time.